Okay, this is the American medical plant and commercial importance. Miscellaneous publication number 77. This is of 1930. Okay, and this booklet really has seen its better days. Uh, it's stapled and stuff. It's from the Department of Agricultural Agriculture in Washington and stuff and this was published in July of 1930 okay and the content is an introduction preparing of, of uh, material and then it goes into a whole bunch of different plants and this is more or less to um, help you uh, recognize some of the plants that are in the woods and everything okay as you can see here. So they give you a description of and information concerning the plants and stuff. So how some of them are bittersweet and everything. And the American cranberry. Of course we know cranberry is good for filtering kidneys. But it will give you, you know, the description and everything. Uh, what it looked like and some of the uses of it you know because this is you know uh, a lot of the berries that were used in, in different bushes and stuff that were used for medical purposes and stuff okay get a lot of this the American Penny Royal which is really neat. American Mountain Ash. American False Hellebore. It's funny because some people will go through the woods and stuff and they wonder, okay, what's this plant? So this was really, you know, in the old days and everything, everybody had their own little remedies and stuff. So this was kind of a guide to help you into go find these plants that you need. When you do find them, you keep them. You need them. Some we use as just herbs and stuff like that, but others were boiled down to make your own remedies. And stuff. The northern bayberry. Bearberry. <laughs> okay. Bitter nightshade. The black cherry. But you really, really would be surprised, you know. So if you have your hands on one of these books, you could take a walk through the woods and see what you can recognize out there. Because some you eat and some you don't. Some you better not touch and some you need. Black hawk. Black mustard. Black willow. Bless Twistler. It does look twisted. Bloodroot. Blue cohosh. Blue flag Irish. Blue Vervain. Wow, never heard of some of these. Of this one here. Blue Flag Irish. You don't find too many more of those in the woods. Okay, Bog Bean. Bone Set. Buggleweed. Burdock. You know, but it will tell you, you know, uh, the common names, because some have more than one name and stuff. Uh, habitat and range, the description, the parts that I use, you know. Butterfly weed, butternut. 
button snake root. Well, I've seen some of that. That's funny. Huh, didn't know the name. Canada Wild Ginger. Ooh. Now, you'd be surprised how many of these, you know, actually do your spices and stuff that you use for cooking. You know, especially making soups and stuff. Carolina Jasmine. Carolina Vanilla. Buckthorn. Cascara. Buckthorn. Huh. Catnip. <laughs> Oops. All right. Cats, even the cat stuff. Wow, cool. Catnip grew wild. Hmm. All had to start somewhere. Unreal. Horse balm. Bug band. Wow. Really neat. Colt foot. Comfrey, common juniper, common winterberry. Every, every little plant you can think of. Isn't that neat? Just to turn around, you know, because some you use the leaves, others you use the roots. All different parts. Fake warts, flower dogwood, fox glove, fragrance. Oh, that one probably is for perfumes, huh? Hmm. I bet some of those are used that way too. Ginsey, fig tree. Golden Groundsel. A very, very unique book. Ground Ivory. Hazel Elder. Alright, let's try to go through this here. Hemlock. All the different ones. Horse weed. Horse nettler. Nettler. Huh. Horse chestnut. Hot tree. Leather wood fern. Common yellow lady snipper. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. Lady slipper. Cute. That's really nice. A lot better in person than in the picture. Jimson weed. Liver leaf. Mad dog. May apple. May pop. Moon seed. So you see it's just filled with a whole bunch of peppermint. Mm, that one's probably popular a lot to offset some of the tastes of some of the other one. Now this is poison hemlock. So, you know, there are goods and bads. Pokeberry. So. A lot, a lot of uh, different things. Crack grass right there. Slippery Elm. An awful lot. Snake Root. So it's quite an interesting book. So if you know anything about this book or the value of it, because this is part of a collection that I picked up, I'd like to know the value of what I have, you know, because it is an older book and stuff. So if you know of the value, or you want to see some more old stuff that I bring up, especially if you're a collector and everything. There's a white pine, of course. Wild yam. 
<laughs> one wood, one seed. Uh, so if you uh, are a collector, ooh, that's the back of it. Oh my goodness, everything all in there. Are a collector, and you know the value of this book and stuff. I mean, it's in rough shape and everything, but it's still a 1930 book. And I'm sure because it's made out of paper and stuff, uh, you don't have too many of those around. Okay. This is publication number 77, United States Department of Agriculture in Washington. The American Medical Plants of Commercial Importance. Okay. Be sure to join me now. Bye-bye.